Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Food Town. Out of the box, out of the wall, whatever you call it. We have what? Oh, perfect. 100 bloody acres. Now, let's see here. This is from Australia. Is it really going to be 100 bloody acres? Are they exaggerating with the 100? Are they exaggerating with the bloody? This is hard to exaggerate the acres. <laughs> So 100 bloody acres, what it's about, it's a very simple premise, actually. We have two storylines that mingle into one. The one is the Morgan Brothers. They have 100 acres, and they're trying to do a right manure, our new type of fertilizer that's organic, that has blood and bones. Is it metaphorically, or is it really happening? And then we have three strangers on the side of the road. Car breaks down. One of them, Morgan Brothers, picks them up, and what do you know? shenanigans, blood and guts, and killing in Seuss. So did I like this movie? This is a very, very much a tongue-in-cheek, dark comedy horror film that works on most levels. So with that, I will give the negatives of this movie first. I do think some of the comedy doesn't hit as fast, as fluid as it wants to be. Some jokes are added left field. I'll say one thing with the grandma and one of the boys. I saw it coming, but I didn't think it would actually go that route. And when it actually did, I was like, oh, we're going there. And I don't know if this actually connects with the story, but they decided to do this balls to the wall scene. And you're just like, okay, I see what you did there, but I don't know if it actually helps or actually connects with the story, what's actually occurring with these brothers and the future and past of this relationship. That's all I'm going to say. Also with that, some of the characters I would say are underdeveloped are just on the nose, if you put it that way. You always have a character who's high on drugs, acid, LSD, whatever, and always does some shenanigans. And that same premise is in this movie. It's a little bit disappointing where they could have gone a different route. But instead, the drug route, it's very been there, done that type of thing. And also the blood and gore. While there are some great blood and gore scenes... I feel like they didn't have enough budget to go the extra mile with this one. They did it for one scene about just complete balls to the wall blood. But I feel like that's all they could afford. And at the very end, I think that would have been a little bit better with the story and how it connects with these characters not liking each other or liking each other. And we will continue on with the final nitpick is the story. There's always some annoying characters. Like I already said, the acid one. There's always the jealous boyfriend one where it's such an eye roll moment. Like, look, motherfucker, you are about to die. I don't think you should give two shits about who a chick's been sleeping with. At that moment in time, you need to get the fuck out of there. Guns. You saw people get dismembered. Hands going everywhere. Body parts going everywhere. And you really care about this girl and how many dudes she's fucked. It's like... Get some little balls and just learn to man the fuck up because you know what? Now's not the time. If you're going to be a little bitch right now, why does she want to be with you? Because you're being a big old bitch. And that is the negatives for the movie. This is a very funny movie. It does its parts extremely well. I was never bored for the hour and a half on screen. Like I said, the acting is really good. When the blood and gore is there, it's absolutely fantastic and it's in your face and it has some comedic moments to it. There's a Jack Russell Terrier moment in this movie. Hysterical. The, even though I said the acid scene is annoying and it is eye-rolling, even though some of it is, there are some scenes that are pretty funny. Overall, it's a good horror comedy premise from Australia. It does the gore right, it does the comedy right, and it does the characters right that are on the screen. However, there are some ho-hum characters some been there, done that moments where you've seen a million times before where it's kind of eye rolling. And then one character arc with an old lady where you just, yeah, potassium levels were pretty high in this movie. That's what I'll say. 100 bloody acres will receive a 4 out of 5 of food tons, which equals at 80%. So see the critics and use scores gave this one. So you have critics a 77% with 39 of them. Audience score a 47% with over 1,000. No critic consensus. Damn, 47%? That's really low for this movie. I, I don't see how it's that low. Yeah, it could maybe because of the story, but I had a good time with it. 
I thought it was funny. Maybe it was that grandma scene that turned people off. Hmm. Anyway, 77, 80, 47. Chase Sock with the Blue Food to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think is Boobton Topia. You Boob Tony, just thank you for watching. Have a great day. It feels like with this review, I did more negatives than positive, but still give it 80%. Oh, well. It's an hour and a half of blood and gore, comedy, horror, and it works on most of its levels. What can I say? Thank <laughs> you.